What's digging, pirates? Swing for the ring here, and we are back. This time, though, we're digging everything. We're digging all sorts of targets. You know why? Because we're using the Mine Lab CTX 3030. So far, I think this machine is going to be awesome. Unfortunately, it's not mine. I'm still digging with the captain. This is episode number two. Last time you guys saw it, we were digging nickels. If you didn't see that episode, I'll put it up right now. Go check it out, but not yet, because guess what? While I'm using the CTX 3030, he's using the DAS, and I just had a signal. I don't know all of the numbers yet on the CTX 3030. All I know, it was nine inches deep, and we got a coin, guys. And not just any coin, a coin I don't recognize. A coin with an eagle here. It could be German, it could be foreign. I'm not 100% sure. But it's got a nice, nice green patina. As soon as we get this coin cleaned up, guys, I'll let you know what it is. Any guesses, put it in the description right now before I get this cleaned up. I mean, I think you saw the back side with the eagle. The front side, I have no idea. Oh, guys, I am stoked. CTX, baby, love it. All right, Pirates, we got it cleaned up. All right, so there is our eagle that we were talking about. And we got the other side cleaned up as well. It's a one cent, 1937 coin from Mexico. Estados Unidos Mexicanos, one cent, 1937. I'll take it. All right, pirates. This is insane. Clearly, um, I'm a noob when it comes to the CTX. I've got the Excalibur for the water, but man, using the CTX on land, jaw dropping, all right? Here's the pinpointer, ready? I mean, it's completely, like, it's, it's pretty much ground level, the whole thing. And we just popped up another coin. What's pretty sweet, is where we just got this coin. Right there is where we got the 1937 one cent Mexican coin. What do you guys think this is? I'll tell you what it is. It's a wheat penny, but that's all right. I'm just, I'm impressed with the depth. Holy smokes. 1940 wheat, not bad. The CTX though, what? All right, Pirates, we have to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. I knew the CTX was good, but I didn't know it was this good and this fun to use. Well, you got people over there slaving away with the dais. We're still digging old coins. <laughs> It might be a trade token. Clean it up. Good for five cents in trade. Not sure where it's to. 913 or 9187. All right. Trade token, five cents. For those of you wondering on the CTX, 1137 is what it came up as. Again, the pinpointer, it's completely buried. Woo -hoo -hoo! All right, just had a 1222, and we got us a nice little button here. Not sure if there's a bent shank or what, but that's a nice little button. Regardless, Got some writing on it. We'll have to get it cleaned up again. Stuff is coming out dirty, and that's the way we like it. Grass makes for a great cleaning solution. 
<laughs> Highest student. Honor third QR. I like it. I am the highest student of metal detecting. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now, as much as I love the CTX and I've been talking it up already, don't be fooled. It is still prone to finding pull tabs. Pull tabs. At least it's a nice pull tab. We came, we dug, we half conquered. Nope, we did not find the silver today or the gold. But we got some old, got some old coins. So that was good. Three wheat pennies at one time. Yeah, three wheat pennies were stuck together. Missed that on camera, but I swear it happened. I promise. <laughs> the captain would not lie. The CTX was fun. I'm glad I got to use it. Thanks to the captain. Uh, you know, he's a good guy sometimes <laughs> when he gives me his treasure. So anyway, we're going to go get some pizza. We'll get this stuff cleaned up and we'll show you up close. All right, pirates, we did it. We're back. We got all of these coins cleaned up. We were using the CTX 3030 and man, that thing is awesome. Sniping coins from 9, 10. There was even one I think it might have been 11 inches deep. I think I might have to make that my next investment. Anyway, we got some coins from the 40s, a couple of wheat pennies. We got an old nickel. I believe the nickel is 1941. So not quite a war nickel, but it's definitely beat up. It's seen better days. It's got some nice patina on it as well. Along with the wheat pennies, we dug this item. I'm not sure what it is. It's got some symbols on it. It looks like it might have been threaded, so it could just be some type of hardware piece. Maybe an old hubcap to something. But it has a little bit of a design on it, so pretty cool. This little guy was awesome to find. It was dirty, beaten up, but we got it cleaned up. Highest honor, third quarter student is what it says. It's just like a little memento. Uh, maybe it was a pin at one point. There might be some solder marks on that have broken off. That's what I would imagine this thing to be. But I thought that was really cool. Not sure exactly of the age. Could be from like the 20s or 30s. Either way, this was an awesome little find. Nice little relic. This coin had me going. I saw the green patina on it. As you can see too, it's a bit bigger than a wheat penny. Not by much, but just enough where I thought, oh, this could be my first two cent piece. I saw the reeds on the back and it turns out to be a one cent Mexican coin, 1937. So it's got some age to it. Not quite there at 100 years, but definitely old. Nice patina, great little coin, wonderful keeper. Now for the find of the day. I don't find a lot of trade tokens, so when I do, I am stoked. Good for five cents in trade. It's got a number on it, and I'm assuming this could be maybe the address to a store or uh, some other call sign, but it's 9187, I believe. It could be 9181. May have to clean it up a little bit more to get a true ID. We'll look at it in the loop. Now that I'm looking at it actually in the sun, I think it's 9181. So if you know what this was good for in trade, tell me. Otherwise, I'll do a little bit more research and hopefully follow up with you guys. But we had a great hunt. The CTX 3030 coming through at the park where the old cabins used to be and Hopefully, we'll be doing some more CTX hunting in the near future. Anyway, pirates, as always, if you're not swinging for rings, make sure you get out and find some awesome coins and relics.